Mellow greetings, Tubians, Ron and T here, and let's fanfic Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. Spring 21, Year 1, Saturday, Sunny. Mayor Thomas has an uncanny knack for knowing when I am eating. Knocked on my door to let me know about the cooking festival tomorrow. He encouraged me to enter. He must not realise that I don't have a kitchen. How did Gramps survive like this anyway? I'll attend. After realising that I'm going to need to focus on building my relationships around town, I figured that making an appearance or entering any festivals that I can would be a really great way to kick off, and that way I can impress multiple people simultaneously with less effort. Exactly what we're after. I'll also need to make a short list of the folks that would be most beneficial to start with. Figure it'd be easier to start with a handful of people to focus on, getting to know their likes and dislikes and really bringing them into my inner circle. But a few is going to be a lot easier to handle than the whole town at once. After my chores I headed to the smithy to collect my axe. Backtrack before I got there, went to see Doc instead. I was kind of hoping to find something that would be uh, helpful in keeping my energy flowing throughout the day. I don't know, maybe you could prescribe an espresso or something like that. I got there just as a young lad was trying to give the nurse some kind of bug. He hid behind me when it became clear she was cranky about it. She calmed down enough to introduce herself as Ellie, and the lad is her brother, you. She is... Well, journal. She's a cutie. Kinda scary when she was cranky, though. She's a bit of an odd mix. And she's got this super practical haircut, minimal makeup, you know, looking very professional. But then she was wearing this super hyper feminine dress with these gloves that would. They'd have to get in the way when you were treating a patient, right? Uh, I got no idea. Weird. She was telling you off about the bug, and he tried to draw me into it. I agreed with Ellie. I've got no issue with bugs. Some of them are even kind of cute. But I really didn't want to get on her bad side. The cranky Ellie was scary, and I'm willing to admit that. You didn't seem happy. Started crying and ran away. Ellie told me not to worry about it. Said it was just that he wasn't used to being reprimanded. I think I'm still going to worry about it. I, I don't like making kids cry, man. After that, I swung by the church to check in with Cliff. He's still only mumbling at me. Maybe... Maybe I could lure him out of the church. M maybe he'd open up more if we met at the beach or up the mountain or... Hmm. Finally picked up my axe and dropped off my hammer and another thousand gold. I'll go pick those up tomorrow. This is so expensive, General. And at this rate, I'm going to burn through almost all of my winnings from the track before I can even finish doing all the things I need to do. <sighs> Was making my offerings when something really odd happened. The Kappa. The Kappa spoke to me, Journal. He gave me a Blue power berry. All the ones I've seen so far have been red. And he told me not to come back. Ever. It kind of tasted... Soggy. Like biting into a sponge. I don't know what it does. Weird. After that it was the usual soak and slave. 
tested out the new axe on some of the stumps around the fields. It is brilliant! Saibara, for all that he is incredibly expensive, captive audience and all that jazz, does really, really good work. Anyway, I'm beat. It's meant to be sunny tomorrow. Good night, journal. Excerpts from Ellie's Bullet Journal Spring 21 Tasks due today Sweep clinic Check stock Prepare medicine for Lilia Check doctor's files Check doctor Nope, nope, that's about it Note, need more coffee Note, need more time Note, forgot to take lunch Note, no, no notes just Ellie. Note. Uh, note. Dr. Doctor is... Well, he's having a day. He's stuck in his research. It makes it easy to get work done, but unless I want to take up dusting him, cleaning becomes a new challenge. Note. Why am I cleaning? I'm the nurse, not the janitor. Task. Pick up eggs on the way home. Note. Karen stopped by. I think she's planning on cooking for the festival. I should lay aside some herbs. Bon vivant will need them. Task. Lay in herbs for, st for food poisoning. Note. You stopped in today. I keep telling him not to stop by while I'm working. But he does it anyway. He decided to bring me a bug. I hate bugs. They're bug-like and crunchy. Everyone hates bugs, except you. I was giving him a talking to when that new farmer walked in. Brenna, she said her name was. I was a little bit embarrassed to let her see me like that, but... I didn't have a lot of choice, really. In the end, she agreed with me that you should not be bringing bugs into the clinic, and he ran off crying. I'll reassure him later, but for now it was actually nice to see him get his comeuppance a little. Note. Gotta be nicer to you for a few days. New task. Remind you that bugs are not appropriate in the clinic. New task. Check on grams. New task. Book Lilia's next checkup. New task. Book Graham's next checkup. New task. Buy chocolate. Note. It's been a long day. A bath and a block of chocolate and a good book from the library sounds like an amazing way to unwind particularly ahead of the festival tomorrow. New task. Pick up a new book from the library. I've read all of mine. Note. Oh, the doctor has stirred. I should attend him. Spring 22, Year 1. Sunny. Just like Derby Day, I rushed through my chores this morning to make it to the cooking festival on time. The potatoes were up, which is good. I need more money if I'm going to get through all these upgrades. I also got a letter from... Well... From the Harvest Goddess. She congratulated me on winning some kind of prize draw that I don't remember entering. Journal, this is going to sound weird, but... Do you think it's possible that the Goddess is some kind of scammer? And if I haven't seen her appear and vanish in front of my eyes, it... Hmm. The letter included a, a bottle of something labelled Van's Favourite. I'm not sure who Van is, but this stuff looks like it packs a wallop. On my way into town, I realised that I couldn't pick up my hammer today because of the festivities. I really need to keep that in mind going forward. And I need to work out when to take my watering can in, and it takes Sobara a day to upgrade everything. It, uh, 
I don't want to miss a day's watering. I might have to wait till next time it rains. <sighs> I headed in for the festival and did a lap to greet everybody. Another amazing turnout. I think even better than Derby Day. That might have something to do with the fact that we get to eat the leftovers. So most sensible people aren't going to pass up a free feed. And I'm not saying that that's why I was there. I, I was definitely working on my social networking. Yes, yes, that's it. Networking. Not free food. And after I said hi to everybody, I went up and greeted Thomas. He told me that I could join in the festivities, I just needed to run home and make whatever it is that they wanted me to make. Turns out the theme for the day was beverages. I, of course, can't compete. So they sent us all away, and those who could compete got their their entries ready. We all came back an hour later and went through the judging. Quite a few folk were competing. It was it was really positive to see. And there was Dudley and Rand. That makes sense. What would the in and all? What better way to advertise how good your food is than to win a festival? And then Lily here and Mana, just just for fun, I guess maybe. And lastly, it was Karen. Journal. Journal, please. For the love of the goddess, please. Remind me never, ever, to let Karen cook for me. I will admit the look on the judge's face when he tried her beverage was absolutely priceless. But I'm fairly sure food poisoning would be more damaging to my farm than it would be to me. I don't want to go through that. Lilia won the day, and for a moment the judge seemed transformed from somebody honestly vaguely terrifying into a positively scrumptious looking fellow. It was kind of odd. I'm not sure how you affect that sort of transformation without magic or a really solid makeup artist. Hmm. After things wound down, I headed up the mountain to make my offering. I took the capper at his word and lobbed Norton to his lake today. And now here I am, feeling all... all learned and full. <sighs> Not for the free food, though. Festivals really do take a chunk out of the day, though. I'm going to have to watch for that. The more I plant, the longer it takes me to water, the less energy I have when I get there. If I enter into anything that requires physical competition from me, it's it's going to be a challenge. It, everyone seemed really pleased to see me, so maybe the challenge would be worth it. So much to think about. It's meant to be sunny again tomorrow. Night Journal.